Morning traders or US dollar was bid uh, in Tuesday's session with the dollar index or DXY finding strong support at its 200 day moving average, pushing out to test that big 104 figure before losing a little bit of steam. Uh, DXY did have a little bit of a dip on the big miss in the JOLTS employment data. Uh, Though a strong ISM services PMI uh, figure offset that and saw dollar index really rally for the rest of the session. Uh, interestingly, yields didn't recover the same way with uh, US 10 year yield falling to a three month low, showing the US dollar strength is more of a really a, a technical pullback from oversold levels um, and maybe some haven flows on that uh, choppy equity market we saw. Uh, Aussie dollar was buffeted by uh, that strong US dollar and fallout from the RBA decision. Uh, central bank kept rates on hold as expected, but the uh, company statement really lacked the hawkish messaging that Aussie dollar bulls were looking for. Uh, Aussie US pushing decisively below its 200 day moving average support there, uh, printing a low of 65.45. So that previous range top at 65 will be the key level to watch to the downside coming in today's GDP report. Uh, gold continued its decline from after hitting all time highs on Monday. Uh, XAU USD attempted a, a little rally in the Asian session, but reversed course as the US uh, came online. So it broke lower to test that 2009 resistance slash support level. Uh, US dollar strength and a technical pullback really from extreme overbought conditions, seemingly the main driver of the price of the precious metal. So gold traders will really be watching that 2009 level, which was a, an established resistance level back in October, November. Uh, let's see if it can switch over to a support level now. Other uh, big move was uh, crude oil. Uh, which declined for a fourth straight session. US dollar strength also had an inventory build and, and I guess concerns about uh, the voluntary nature of the recently announced OPEC plus production cups that might, might not happen as, as they're planned. Uh, there was an initial move higher after a, a Russian press report uh, comments from their deputy PM Novak saying that Russia fully intends to fulfill its obligations uh, to voluntarily reduce, reduce the oil output as early as January. That, that initial pop didn't last though with a crude kind of trending love for the rest of the session hitting five month lows.